Hi, this is Stephen, or Husky to Healthy, on YouTube. Um, today is going to be one of those weird, rambling kind of vlogs, I feel, but I'm looking at the timer down here, and I'm going to try to stay on point. Uh, basically, today, I have, after today, I'll have 14 days before I have my vertical gastric sleeve in Houston, Texas. Um... And I haven't been worried or freaked out about any of it until now. Um, I guess a lot of it has to do with that I'm going to be going on the liquid diet starting Monday. And, um, you know, on one hand, I hear and see people uh, say, you know, that it's really, really rough, that it's really, really rough. And, you know, and I'll be honest, you know, so a part of me is not that... Um, sympathetic, empathetic, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for. I'm like, if you can't go on a liquid diet for 10 days, then you, is the lap panel the right thing for you? Or is the vertical sleeve the right thing for you? Because, you know, it's not going to get very much easier. I mean, eventually it'll get easier, but I mean, it's, you know, it, it's going to be difficult. And, um... Payback's a pain in the butt, because now I'm kind of going through it, and I haven't even started it, but it's the whole thing of, oh, what am I doing? Is this, <sighs> am I making a mistake here? Um, is the payoff going to be worth it? The payoff of, I'm a foodie. I love to cook. I love to eat. I love to be social and eat with people. I just don't know how to understand what a correct portion is or let me take that back i understand what a correct portion is i just don't eat a correct portion um you know it's just uh, i just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat to the point where my mother or other people will make a comment of like you're really eating a lot of food and it's you know it's the whole thing when you go to the Burger King or whatever, and you're ordering three sandwiches that, you know, it's out of control. So whether there's, it's not a point of whether it's the right thing for me. It's the, okay, let me take that back. It's, I don't want to get, go any further. I weigh 276 pounds. I'm five foot eight and a half. Um, some people would say that would be really easy for you to take off. It would be if I could control my portions. Um, and the thing is, I need help controlling the portion intake. But it scares me because I, I wanted to have this done before. No offense to anybody. Please don't take offense to what I'm saying. But it'll be easier for me to get this under control and a safer procedure for me to have this done now than waiting until I pass the 300 pound mark or the 325 pound mark or the 350 pound mark or the 400 pound mark. It's like now is a good time for me within myself to put the brakes on and be like, this has to stop. You know, when I got up to 210, I was like, no, I can never get any higher than 210. Then 225, I was like, no, I can never, that's, that's it. You know, 250 was my absolute like never anything higher than 250 that's just ridiculous and now that i got all the way up to 280 and i knew that i had to take some kind of action somewhere so um that's why i'm having this done but you know i think it's going to be difficult for me to get over certain things and i've decided that i'm going to start going to some counseling i might even do it if I can schedule one before my surgery, but I'm going to get some counseling. Um, unfortunately, Houston here, and what I see in a lot of different places in Houston, there's not a lot of, like, support groups. And I think the reason why, what that is is if it's in a place that says, you know, like a church or like we have one here that's in a grocery store and stuff like that, that if there's a sign that says weight loss, loss support group, people feel shame that they've had the surgery and they don't want to go. Thus, after a while, they peter out. That's what I'm imagining. Um, but 
there's not a lot of support groups here. Um, and since there's so many surgeries, I there's not like an overall kind of like support group with all of them. I find there's a lot of lap band uh, support groups. I have not found a vertical sleeve support group. And there's a lot of guys, and no, I'm going to take that back. Um, I found a couple of lap band places. I found, I think, three gastric bypass places. I've not found one vertical sleeve place. So to help assist me, I think I need to talk to a therapist about it because I have a feeling that even though I know that I'm a strong person, I gave up smoking, basically took the patch for two weeks and quit cold turkey. That was four years ago. When I make my mind to do something, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to mourn the loss of food. I'm going to mourn the loss of not being able to go eat at the Chinese buffet, which I love to do. You know, um, when I get into a ravenous state, I'm like, I want a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and a little bit of this. Um, those days are gone. Those days are going to be gone. And they're going to be gone starting Sunday, you know, four days from now, uh, three days from now. And, um, you know, I'm going to go to this new, not this new, China, there's a Vietnamese restaurant that burned to the ground that just got reopened last week and it's like my favorite place and I'm so happy that I get to go and experience one of my favorite meals there before I go on to weight loss surgery onto my weight loss surgery because um, I'm gonna miss it I love it you know I love going and ordering a couple of spring rolls and then relaxing and enjoying my special garlic beef um, and after this surgery it's going to be, well, I'm going to enjoy, when I can get to those kind of foods, it's going to be like, well, I can enjoy my spring roll, or I can enjoy a very small portion of my garlic beef, but the days I'm enjoying them both alone, maybe I can do a bite, and then a few bites of the other one, but it'll be depressing. So I'm kind of going through the morning stage a little bit early. I don't think that I'm scared of anything happening. I think... I believe God will take care of me and I don't mean to insult anybody who doesn't believe that way but I really believe that God will be watching over me and, and take care of me if not well then you know I'll be in a better place but um, and I, my doctor uh, is a really great doctor so I'm not worried about that but um, I'm worried about giving up the food the things that I like and the textures that I like to eat and the crunchy things and you know, I love corn. It's my favorite thing. And, you know, I was told by my dietician that's probably one of the worst things that she could have for you because, as she says, uh, to digest bef before you have the lap band surgery, well, guess what? It's not going to digest afterwards. So, basically, I'm not going to be taking any nutrients into it. So, it's not something I probably should be having. It might not be something I can tolerate. But anyway, that's just, you know, I'm coming on the nine minute mark here pretty soon, so I'm going to wrap up. But um, I'm just kind of getting a little nervous for it. I'm looking forward to the surgery. I'm looking forward to the benefits. But at the same time, I am I am freaking out about giving up the things that I love. I love eating. Um, this is going to be a total life change. And... Even though you know it in your head, when you're faced with it, it's it can be a scary thing. So that's about it for now. I'll probably do some more blogs when they get closer. But anyway, this is Stephen from uh, Healthy to Husky on YouTube. And uh, have a good night.